So I recently purchased this picture framing studio joiner from Hobby Lobby. It was $83 when I bought it. And um, I have not used this product yet. I wanted to make a video and give you an inside look of my first time using it and give a non-biased opinion about the product. So I've already cut my wood. I've stained it. Uh, once everything has uh, been nailed together, I'm going to polyurethane it then. And this is the art that we are going to be framing. It's three different pyrography pieces. Um, each image is burned onto watercolor paper. It's already been matte and mounted. And it's just wrapped in plastic right now because it gets kind of dusty in here. But um, yeah, once it's all nailed together, uh, we'll, we will polyurethane it. So next, this is your depth gauge, or not gauge, but your depth finder, video, wrist it right, it right on one of these three posts, and tighten these clamps. Grabbing our soft V nails. One of the edges is um, it's sharper, it's tapered. Make sure that that is facing downward. You'll be able to see it on the inside of the V. Just make sure that that sharp edge is facing down so that it cuts into the wood. Um, it talks about it in the manual. And it uh, gives you a diagram which explains it a little bit better than I am. Sharp end facing down. So I actually wanted to place this nail a little further in, away from the artwork, but I couldn't reach it because of how the jig was made. But um, other than that, I really, I really enjoyed using this. All right, so that about wraps it up. Um, I have finally completed my first frame with the studio joiner, and I think it's a lot easier and a little more efficient than how I have been framing my art. Um, the V nails seem to be holding the the frame together very nicely, and um, yes, I'm excited to continue using this. I would like to use a couple other models uh, made by different brands for comparison, but uh, I would definitely recommend getting one of these. I think it will save time, and I think it could be um, I think it could even pay for itself if used properly. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for future videos. 
Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out KindleDarts.com if you're looking for any sketchbooks or pencil cases or any art accessories. I've got them there. Go check them out. Um, I'm also open to uh, constructive criticism. If you have a suggestion on how I could improve this video or future videos, feel free. I'm also open to suggestions for future videos as well. So until next time, I'll see you later.